Hello, today we had a very welcome visit by the Home Office Police Finance team here to our headquarters at Mount Brown near Guildford. They were wanting our opinion on what the proper scale of funding should be for police forces across the country. I think we gave them some very useful answers, basically based on the fact that there is more crime about, people are reporting it more and it's more complex crime and therefore police forces around the country are too stretched with their existing establishments. But I also made two other very important points. First of all, in Surrey, too much money for police funding comes directly from Surrey's council taxpayer rather than funds allocated by central government. That's a particular problem in Surrey and it basically means that Surrey taxpayers are not only paying for Surrey police, which is okay of course, but are also paying too much for other police forces around the country, a very disproportionate amount, and we think that's unfair. But I also made another point. Police officers, when they retire, rightly get a pension. They're worth every penny. I don't grudge it at all. But that pension, too much of it is paid directly by the council taxpayer rather than being allocated through central government. It still has to be paid, of course. Money's not free. But I think council taxpayers who are paying for policing, all that money should be paid on current policing not paying the t pensions of retired police officer. There has to be a fairer way for funding those pensions.